Well, good afternoon, everybody. Since a lot of my videos got taken down, I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. No, I'm not gonna harass and bully anybody, and no, I'm not gonna make an example out of somebody who's probably gonna lose their life for doing something stupid when they should know better. No. Instead, today, I'm gonna teach you how to commit a felony. Follow me. Now, if you're in the car world or motorcycle world, and you do a lot of buying and selling and trading and things like that, you have ran into this issue before. This is something that I've usually kept pretty secret. And keep in mind that this is also for informational purposes only. This is in no way a real title in a real scenario. So you've run across this, where you get a vehicle and you get a title and somebody's already signed the fucking back as buyer and everything like that. You go to the DMV and they're like, there's nothing we can do until they put it in their name and blah 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 and all this shit. It's just a fucking headache. So I'm going to show you a simple trick that I'm not saying that I use, that I'm saying has been done, that can fix all this. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure your wife is at work. That way she can't bitch at you. And that way she'll never know what the fuck you're doing. Secondly, what you're going to do is you're going to want to grab one of her favorite cooking sheets. Thin, wide, you know what I'm saying? One like this. Pretty standard. This is where things get a little bit dicey. And a lot of you aren't going to believe this. And a lot of you are going to tell me, oh, you should use this. You should try this. Fuck you. This, this works. Okay? I know people that have been doing it like this for years. Okay? It, it works every fucking time. So follow me on this. You're going to want to get yourself some dot three brake fluid and fill this bitch up. Now, I know the pan looks kind of dirty, and it is, but it's whatever. I don't feel like fucking cleaning it. You're going to take your title and just drop it the fuck in there. Just like that, and make sure it gets completely covered. Now, almost immediately, you'll notice that the ink is starting to come out. Now, keep in mind, every pen is different. And this doesn't work 100% on all pens. Certain gel inks and things like that. This does not work. Only works on certain like big ballpoint pens and things like that. That being said, the amount of time you're gonna have to let it sit here really just depends on how fast the ink starts to come out once you lay the title in there. Seeing as this ink's coming out pretty goddamn fast, we're gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes. All right, now about 10 minutes have went by, so let's check on this motherfucker and see where we're at. Now, as you can see, most of the ink is gone. Uh, we still got a couple little spots in here that need to sit a little while. Um, Title already had a little hole in it, but that ain't no big deal. Got just a little bit here that needs to soak a little bit longer, but as you can see, most of it's already gone. So we're gonna sit here and let it marinate just a little bit longer, and then uh, I'm pretty sure all the ink will come out completely. And then uh, I'll show y'all what to do in the next step. All right, checking back on our title. Let's see where we're at. Now, if you let it sit a lot longer than what I did, you'll know that all these little spots will come out. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna fucking rush it. But know that they will come out. And sometimes you'll see shit bleeding through. But I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now this next step is probably the most crucial part of this entire process, y'all. So pay attention extra close to this part. Because this is where you fuck up. Pull that bitch out. Drain it out really good. And then set it off to the side somewhere. So it can drip dry a little bit. Now if you live in an apartment. Just dump that brake fluid right down there in the fucking toilet. And send her. Take and clean out your pan pretty good. It ain't got to be perfect. Now you're going to take some kitty litter. This isn't the right kind to use. I mean, any kind will work, but ideally the cheapest, powderiest dollar store brand kitty litter is the best for this shit. Or even that oil dry shit that they sell at auto parts stores. That shit works good too. You're going to lay down a pile and smooth it out and get it all nice and even. So you got like an even coat of kitty litter. Once you got that, you're going to take and lay your title down in that kitty litter. Spread it out nice and even and get the entire title covered. Now to speed this shit up a little bit, take your heat gun and put some heat to that bad motherfucker right there. But on low because you don't want to blow the fucking kitty litter away. So while you're sitting there doing this, keep in mind that the kitty litter is not to absorb all of the brake fluid. It's just to kind of dry it off for the next part. So what you're going to do is you're going to dig out a spot and kind of feel it and make sure that it's kind of dry to the touch. And once it's dry to the touch, that's when you're going to pull it out. This is the very, very important part, most important of this whole process. You're going to want to go outside and you want to set it down on some concrete. And this is where you can fuck up, so pay attention. You get your heat gun and you're going to heat this whole thing up. Now it's going to smoke a little bit and it's going to look kind of shitty but all the transparency and shit that you see is gonna come out and that's just gonna be the brake fluid coming out. You don't wanna do circles and keep it moving pretty fast. 
you start seeing it smoking too much in one spot, you're gonna to wanna to move to the next spot. Just keep it going. And y'all, there you have it. A completely blank, open title that you can put whatever you want on. Now I know people are gonna be a little bit skeptical, but let me just show you something real quick and this might change your mind. If you see right there, it says, void without bare watermark, holding the lights of view. Well, there's your watermark, baby. Now this title already had like little holes and shit in it. Which usually the DMV or the courthouse knows that like sometimes these get washed, you keep them in your pockets, you try to dry them out. Like they're, they're not always perfect, especially when they're from 2004. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they're gonna be a little damaged and things like that. If it's too perfect and too legible, then you're gonna see every flaw in it. So really the older, shittier titles like this are like the ones that you can definitely save. Now again, this is for educational purposes only. I don't condone this shit. I don't expect anybody to go out there and do it. So what you do with this information is on you. I'm just telling you, this is what a lot of people used to do back in the day and they don't do it anymore. So next time you go buy a vehicle and uh, you say, let me see the title and they show it to you. They already signed it. Well, there you go. There's your negotiating tool because you can look at the title and go, fuck, man, I can't do anything with this. This is no good. Then you lowball the shit out of them. Tell them you'll give them way less than what you originally told them just because the title's fucked up. And then you got to spend all this money fixing it. Oh, and you can go home and do this. That's how I get a lot of deals sometimes. Used to. Used to get a lot of deals sometimes. But anyway, thanks for watching. And no, it doesn't work for personal written checks.